Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Capricorns. Capricorn, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And uh, if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's go ahead and see what messages come through for my dearest Capricorns. Regarding the person they're energetically, romantically linked to. Clear messages and guidance for my dearest Capricorns, please. Okay, the overall energy, we have the Queen of Coins. That could very well be you. Beautiful. Your person, Hierophant, so some of you are dealing with a Taurus or somebody that's got long-term commitment on their mind, but Taurus energy or the Hierophant can be, there are some significant differences between you and your person, religion, culture, traditions, beliefs. All right. Wow. They're viewing you as the death card, Scorpio energy in reverse. The moon, Pisces, Cancer energy is what you don't see. And we have the tower, wow, four major arcanas out of the five on the table. So the tower tells me your final outcome energy or your advice is things are about to shift in a really, really big way here. We see the judgment card in reverse, Aries and Scorpio energy coming through strong with the judgment card and the tower. Ooh, judgment card is somebody here may have misjudged you. Somebody may be experiencing some karma. It feels like your person with the death card in reverse wants you back or has never let you go, Capricorn. You're going to get some very unexpected news here is what I'm seeing. So let's get going. Let's clarify and see why is this queen of coins here. Now, I feel this is your energy. I feel like my Capricorns, you are, you know, stable, safe, secure, or that's what you're looking for. It looks like your person may also be looking for that being in that Hierophant energy, but they may see you as the mother or father of their child. Um, or maybe you do have children with this person. But remember, the queen of coins is somebody who always looks good. She always takes care of herself, her house and her home. Always looks like she's going somewhere. She's got, you know, good, you know, she's good with her finances. And again, I'm saying she, but it can be male or female energy. So let's see. Queen of Coins. Ooh, okay, so just a little caveat, Capricorn. This is the Wandering Star Tarot, and somebody got this as a gift for me, somebody I love very much, um, while they were in Hamburg in Germany. So this, the cards are in German. For the most part, I don't have problems deciphering them, but I don't speak German. Um, okay, but this is the Temperance Energy, so some of you may be dealing with a Sag. Um, what I love about this card is she's holding on to those two cups, so very strong soulmate connection. There's wish fulfillment coming. This is also an energy of healing. So I do feel that your person, if this is somebody you are on a break from or you've separated from, you're very unexpectedly going to get a message or they're coming towards you to heal things. I feel like they've never let you go. Um, but this is also an energy of patience and divine timing is at work here. So we see the Queen of Swords showing up. So some of you, this person, maybe they needed some time just to like get right, to get their head right. Um, they're seeing things very clearly. It's like they want to put the past in the past. That's what I'm reading from that Queen of Swords. They want to heal things. They've been taking their time. They're ready to move forward, onward and upward with you, Capricorn. Mm, Hierophant. So your person, your person may be very fixed in their ways. There can be a little bit of a stubborn energy here with the Hierophant. Um, it could be that somebody's a little bit more traditional than the other. And we see, all right, this is the Four of Wands. Wow, absolutely. So we've got the Four of Wands showing up in reverse. So there's some, there's this person, they're at a distance from you, Capricorn, whether that's, you know, there, it's been some time since you split, um, or maybe they're, you know, they're, they're in another country, city, or state. Um, they, they're sensing instability within this connection, but with that Hierophant card, it's like they're, they're making up their mind that they want stability with you. I feel like they're really manifesting you. They may see you as a soulmate or a twin flame in separation, but I do think that with this judgment card in reverse, they either misjudged you, Capricorn, or they're worried that, you know, there's no second chances here for them. 
and we get the Knight of Cups in reverse. Yeah. Wow. Some of you, I feel like your person's worried that you're not going to make a commitment to them. So for some of you, there may be some sort of proposal coming in, whether that's, you know, hey, let's talk about things. I want to get back together. I want to heal things or, you know, I want to start a family or I want to move in together or I want to get married. Your person here does have some fears about whether or not you're going to be on board or on the same page or take them back. Um, but I also feel too, your person, it's possible that they may have struggled with commitment issues in the past. Like it feels like maybe they were the ones who destabilized the connection in the past. So they're really taking a look at that. And I feel like, you know, with the, with the Knight of Cups and the Four of Wands, you know, in the upright, I would say there's a marriage proposal coming in, but both of these cards are in reverse. So I don't know if this person rejected you in the past Capricorn, or they're just really worried that you're going to reject them for whatever they're coming in to ask you about. Now they could have some secret fears here about commitment, but I do see that they don't want to lose you regardless. So with the death card in reverse, they haven't let you go. And we see the page of cups in reverse. They want a second chance, but they also know that they might owe you an apology. Capricorn, I think this person's worried that you're not going to either accept their apology or that you're not ready for this sort of next step. And we see the star card, Aquarius energy, but they're hoping and praying this person is hoping and praying that they can win you back or that you're going to um, agree with what it is that they have to say. With the star card here, Aquarius energy, this is like, it feels like you are their wish fulfillment. They want to heal things. Um, I do feel with temperance and the star here though, they're playing a bit of the long game or this is something that's a long time coming for them. I feel like your person might even feel like for some of you, if this is like an ex or something, that it's a long shot, but they've they've always had you on their mind. And what you don't see here is the moon card. So this is Cancer Pisces energy. Um, this is fears. You know, this can be, you know, feeling a bit confused. Um, and, and I do get that. Like, I feel like your person is coming in with some sort of proposal, wanting to heal this, wanting to take things to the next level. But I also do see with the Four of Wands and the Knight of Cups here in reverse that they could be really worried about commitment. I don't think they're going to show that to you. This could be a very big step for them, Capricorn, or they know that, or they're worried about that's how you're going to receive things. Like you're not so sure about committing to them. Oof, I know that was hard to get out. Forgive me. Um, but with the Moon card here, they have very, very deep feelings. Um, and, and I feel like they've been going through, they've been really sort of doing some shadow work here, Capricorn. Um, they're confused. Um, I, I feel like a little bit afraid to approach and we get the nine of cups wish fulfillment. Yeah. Your person is going to tell you what it is they truly want here. Somebody here may have a cat, a black cat in particular. Um, but somebody here may really, like, I feel like you are their wish fulfillment. Healing this connection is their wish fulfillment. But they're worried that you're not going to take them back. Or you're not going to be on board with whatever this proposal is. And we get the strength card. Yeah, Leo energy. Some of you, this is Cancer Leo energy here with the moon and uh, the Leo energy. But something here about cats may resonate. This came out in another reading as well. Um, so do check your other signs, Capricorn. Make sure you, especially when you're coming to love readings, you want to check your moon sign and your Venus sign. I also like to check my north node, especially if I'm dealing with like a strong soulmate connection or a twin flame. Um, but sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node are the signs I check. So I'm seeing here that your person, they're nervous. They're not as confident as they're projecting. And that's coming out a few times in this reading. So just know that your person, no matter what your situation is, they're going to they're going to probably act like they're pretty tough but they're quite nervous when it comes down to it or they're a little bit insecure about you know whether or not you're going to accept them or you guys can get on the same page now the strength card in reverse tells me that there may there may be a little imbalance here in their solar plexus and that's an inability to commit and like i said i feel like there are these sort of fears that they have 
just make sure, Capricorn, that this person isn't coming in and like love bombing or just saying or doing something just to sort of win you over. I mean, I don't really get that. I do feel that they're your wish fulfillment. I think they really genuinely want to heal things, especially with the Queen of Swords, that they're coming in with the truth. But you just want to make sure, okay? Don't emotionally invest. Don't, you know, believe every line that somebody's feeding you. And I, I know you don't. I know my Capricorn's out there. Um, but yeah, just make sure because there is something here about like there is like a slightly non-committal energy to this reading. So tower moment, major paradigm shift. This is going to knock your socks off and we get the nine of pentacles. Wow. So some of my Capricorns, this is how they're viewing you. They're viewing you like the nine of pentacles is one of my favorite energies in the tarot because she's Venus and Virgo energy. She's somebody who's self-made. She's good on her own. I feel like most of my Capricorns out there, you are good on your own. So it's like you don't need a relationship to complete you, but you, you know, but you will accept somebody who makes your life that much better, right? And I love that energy. I think this is how your person is seeing you. It's probably why they're coming towards you. They also see you healthy and balanced and having a lot to offer. And we get, um, the Ace of Wands in reverse. Or the Eight, Three, Four. Yeah, sorry, it's the Eight of Wands in reverse, not the Ace. <laughs> I'm learning German still. <laughs> Please forgive me. And we see the And we see the high priestess here in reverse coming out. So this person has secret feelings for you. There are going to be some major secrets revealed. Even they're working through fears, Capricorn, in coming towards you. But with the Ace of Wands in reverse, I feel that, you know, for some of my Capricorns, you are, you are going to be in a little bit of a defensive energy or you kind of need to be because of what I was saying in this reading. Because there is this like underlying thread of them projecting like confidence and that they're ready and that this is the decision that they've made and they want to they want to heal things and they want to commitment but if they were commitment shy in the past I don't think they've totally purged that energy so you just want to take it slow okay before you get really really invested or just make sure you know exactly where they're coming from because the eight of wands in reverse tells me some of my Capricorns you are going to you know, you may not accept this person back. It may be, it may be very flattering. It may be um, nice to know that this person cares. But I do see here with the judgment card and the eight of wands in reverse that some of you just, you may reject this person. So it feels like it's going to be about 50-50 for you because I do see a lot of you have worked really hard to get into this stable energy, the nine of pentacles. So you may not want to sort of give that up or go backwards. But again, it, it's going to be your decision. And this person, they're, they're building up their strength and their courage to come towards you. And with the high priestess here in reverse, they I feel like they have learned some tough lessons. But I also feel you have as well, Capricorn. Um, so you don't want to do any backsliding. And some of you, like I said, some of you are, are not going to take this person back. Others of you, you know, there has been some sort of evolution just take your time. And the Eight of Wands there in reverse, just as a reminder, just to, you know, not everything is going to maybe unfold or has unfolded the way that you've wanted it to or this person. Um, but there's always room for, you know, course correction. Um, so let's see what, what else. What do we need to know about Capricorn's person, please? What do we need to know about Capricorn's person? So loyal and past hurt. Yeah, interesting. So your person could have some past fears regarding commitment, loyalty, you know, if they were cheated on or betrayed, or, you know, they've been through a particularly sort of nasty divorce or separation. Now, of course, this could be something that's happened between the two of you. And like I said, there's something here about that non-committal energy. So you want to make sure that, you know, they're fully on board. And we get financially stable, nice and religious. So I do feel with financially stable, I feel this is how they're seeing you, Capricorn. But I feel for some of you, this person, they've been working towards with that Hierophant energy, saving up, becoming more stable. Um, and with religious energy, um, you know, I feel like it goes back to the Hierophant energy, which can sometimes to me indicate a level of dogma. But I feel more than anything that this person is getting so many signs and synchronicities that you're the person for them, that they need to heal this, that they need to talk to you. Um, 
and that they need to sort things out. And I also feel with religious energy, you two may be very different. Um, the way you manage money, the way you approach relationships, you know, your, your cultures, your traditions, your beliefs. But I do see that there's, that there's potential here for stability in this connection. Yeah, look at that. Despite any differences, Spirit is saying you are a very good match, if not the perfect match here. So very nice energy. Let's see what Spirit's advice is for my Capricorns regarding this person, regarding this connection, please. Advice for my Capricorns. All right, so we have thorns, weave together the crown you deserve. You know, it's interesting, in other readings, I've been getting this as, you know, you spending time on your own, like with your friends and family, you know, with your soul tribe, with people who build you up, working on that solar plexus, on setting boundaries. But you know what I'm seeing differently here, Capricorn? I'm seeing that you and this person can come together and weave together a legacy, something very potent, something you know, something with this crown energy, something lush, something luxurious. And for those of you who have a family with this person, you know, maybe pull it, putting that back together. Um, and some of you, you are meant to have a family with this person. So it, it, that's not going to be for all of you. You know, some of you, this is, you know what, I've worked really hard to be in this nine of pentacles energy, and I'm not going to let anybody from my past sort of put that in jeopardy. Um, but think before, think first before you judge. Yeah, judgment card in reverse. So this person may have judged you incorrectly. You may have misjudged this person as well. And I do feel that with the judgment card and the high priestess both in reverse, your person has been learning some pretty tough lessons without you. So I, I do feel spirits bringing this to our attention to hear this person out, hear what they have to say and mural be your own first priority but look so this is what i'm seeing i feel many of my capricorns you have built some sort of stability and again we keep getting these messages about cats that may be signs and synchronicities maybe they're your spirit animal maybe you have a cat maybe your person does be your own first priority don't feel bad about putting yourself first or telling this person no or that you need some time to think about it like don't feel rushed into it but what i love about this is drawing and building this castle. Some of you guys are working with vision boards. Um, and for others of you, you know, you can create something stable here with this person, okay? So we get lioness. This has been coming out for a lot of my signs lately. So really strong Leo presence in this reading. You've earned all of your stripes. So this is what I'm getting, Capricorns. You are good on your own. So if somebody's going to come towards you, they better, you know, they better... They better come correct and I also feel like they better add to your life. You know, if this person brings you drama or drains your energy, I feel a lot of you are just going to be straight up like, no, okay? And, I, you know, and that's something that I do love about my Capricorns out there. I have, I have a lot of Capricorns who are very near and dear to me in my family and then in my friend group. Um, and I'm a Cancer, we're exact si opposite signs, but, you know, I just love that, you know, how different we are, how... Also how, um, you know, how we can sort of fill in, fill in the gaps for each other there. All right, let's see what final messages come through for my dearest Capricorns regarding this person. So does this situation align with your values and your morals? And that's the big question that you have to be asking yourself. Is this something that builds you up? Is it something that makes you better? So radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. For many of you, I do feel this is an ex or this is somebody that you have let go of. Um, but I also feel too, it's about releasing that past hurt. It's about releasing these judgments um, because I do feel that this person's coming to you in a different energy. And children, some of you have children with this person. Again, some of you are building a family with this person. Um, I also feel too when the children cards come out for me in a reading and non-committal energy is written all over it that this person may have been in a player type energy or they needed to sort of grow and evolve a little bit and different pages. You and this person don't share the same vision. So this is what you need to find out 
are you on the same page? And it's about, you know, we all fall in love and I, and I, I believe in trusting that. But again, it's also about, you know, do we, you know, do we want the same things for the future? Do we both want children? Are, do we, do we manage our finances similarly? Like, is that something that lines up? Cause you know, that's something that oftentimes we don't think about, but in the long term, it's so important. And I know I can have those types of conversations with my Capricorns out there. Detached with love to clearly see the truth. Yeah. So spirit saying that, you know, I think it's going to be 50, 50 here, Capricorns. Um, about whether or not you're on the same page and whether or not this is something that you want to you want to continue with and for many of you something you want to go back to all right there are a lot of positives about this connection so take your time don't rush ground before you make a decision and make a decision from a more sort of detached place because they are going to come in they're going to come in and it's going to be quite emotional it's going to be unexpected tower moment okay so sending you love and light. If these messages do resonate, I'm going to ask that you hit that like button, you share and subscribe. Also check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.